Welcome to a tutorial video on Twine. In this video, I'm going to talk about an advanced pattern of using metadata, working with the data available to us in each passage. So as we know, we have a concept called data maps within Harlem. This allows us to create a data structure where names are mapped to values. We use the names to get to the values. We also know that passages have a number of different names for their own values. They have their source, they can have tags, and they can have names. It makes sense then that each passage is represented within Harlow as a data map, or put another way, as metadata. That is, they have the existing name and source and tags, but also because it is a data map can have extra data, and that's where metadata comes into play. So let me kind of walk through what I'm talking about here. So we can access the current passage or any other passage using a macro called passage. And we've previously seen how we can use the print macro to produce a string value from other string values. We can combine them or produce them or show them immediately. So in this case right here, notice I'm doing something a little strange. I'm looking for the source, or in other words, the content of some passage. So this says passage EX1, this is EX1 down here, source, so a data map name to value pair. So print the passage right here's source right here of some content. Let's go ahead and play this to see what I'm talking about. So build and play, and then we will see some content. So notice I achieved the equivalent of display, but I did it using the data of a passage. So right here, passage macro, go get this passage, and in the resulting data map, find its source. So using, again, data map syntax right here, use a print. And this whole thing right here is the equivalent of doing display. Again, display macro includes the contents of one passage and another. So we can access the source and the name and the tags of any passage within the story. As long as we know the name of a passage, we can look it up using the passage macro, get access to its data map, get access to its source, its name, and its tags. Now, as I introduced at the beginning of this video, all of these are data within a passage. We can also add to that data using a macro called metadata. Now, we've previously seen when we worked with things like storylets within Harlow that there are some macros that when they are used at the beginning of a passage, or immediately run when the story is run. That is, they are run before anything else is run. And we saw that with storylets. We can create some passages as their own storylets, and those macros will be run first. This is also true of a particular macro called metadata. So we have this existing data map for each passage. And a data map is just a pairing of names and values. We can add it to this. So let me show you what I'm talking about in a different example. So over here in EX2, I have a macro called metadata. Metadata allows us to create a name value pair for that particular macro. So along with its source and its name and its tags, we can add extra data to passages. And this can be incredibly useful if you want to sort data or sort passages as data in a particular way. So as we'll see in some future videos, we'll work with tags and we'll search for passages based on the name and based on tags. We can also add extra things to search for. So here I've attached a new name value pair called example in C, and this is for EX2. So again, as I mentioned before, the metadata macro, similar to the storylet macro and others that we've seen, is run first. So this will be called, or this will be run first before anything else happens, before any startup tags or even the starting passage. And will be added as extra data to this passage. With that in mind, we can do something a little strange. So let's go ahead and look at example two. So I'm saying down here, get the passage using the macro EX2's example. So name value pairs as if it was a data map and get its name example for the corresponding C value. So let's run from example two. So I'm gonna go ahead and change a start over here to example two, build and play. And we get C. So in this case, we're using the metadata macro to add extra name value pairs to passages. 
And again, as I mentioned before, this is very useful if you want to add some extra data to a passage, along with its source and its name and its tags. If you want to add some extra things you might search for in the future, and we'll get into that in some future videos. But at least for right now, the metadata macro allows us to just add extra name value pairs to passages. Not always useful, but in some particular cases, incredibly useful. We want to search for a particular thing or get a particular data. So again, allow us to add that extra data to a passage with the main caveat that it is run first. So we set it up, it then becomes part of that passage, part of the internal data of Harlow, which we can then access using the passage macro. So two different macros covered in this video. The first of which is passage, which allows us access to either the current passage or another named passage within the story as a data map. We can access its source, its name, and its tags. The metadata macro allows us to add new name value pairs to a particular passage, and then when paired with the passage macro, allows us to access those same name value pairs. Definitely more advanced pattern within Harlow 3.3, but useful in particular cases when we want that extra data as part of a passage. Thanks for watching.